Hey, yo everyone, Andrew here, bringing you another video, and today with me is my beautiful fiance, the Gossip Guru. Say hi. Hi. Yes. Uh, so we're going to do a collab video on my channel and on her channel for this week. So my channel, we're going to do this video, and on her channel, we're also going to do our picks for the Oscars. So if you want to check those out, you can just go to her channel, it's down there. I recommend you check it out because it's actually a pretty fun video. Uh, but Thank today, you for the plug. Yes, you're welcome. Blatant plug. <laughs> but uh, today what we're going to be doing is uh, an interesting topic. Is, uh, see, what you have to understand is when you're in a relationship, there's you know, a lot of give and take, and you, know, you do stuff of other people's interest. Um, like, for example, I watch Teen Mom. So yeah, well, sometimes it can be how stupid some of them are. Like, the Leah girl. She cheats on her husband, and then she thinks it's all his fault. Anyways, you give a little give and take. So we do each other's activities, and when the new DC-52 hit, one of the things I asked her, and I never forced her into doing it, is I said, Honey, would you mind reading some comics with me? Uh, and she said... I agreed. Two yes. particular ones. Two particular ones. So we started off with three, um, but we dropped one, and the one we dropped was Justice League, and mostly because I think you were starting to lose interest in it a little. I guess so. Yeah, you fell asleep during a shoot of a spot <laughs> four. <laughs> it gets comfortable. Sorry. Yes, nothing's more comfortable than Batman and Superman fighting Darkseid. Anyways, uh, so we dropped uh, Justice League, but there's two titles that we still read together, and... Uh, can you tell them what those titles are? Supergirl mm -hmm. and Flash. So what, what I want to do in this video and what we're going to do together is we're going to basically, uh, I'm going to give you guys kind of an outsider's perspective on comics and how they feel about comics. Uh, because as you guys know, I am a ridiculously addicted comic book geek, but my fiance she is an outsider. Yes, is an outsider. I'm not talking about Batman's outsiders. She doesn't work with Black Lightning and Katana and Metamorpho, Rex Manson, the Elemental Man. See, you can't say anything without it becoming a comic book reference. So anyways, uh, she is a bit of an outsider. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask her some questions about what she's read so far of the DC New 52 and uh, get a little perspective on how she feels towards it and see if it really is welcoming to new readers. Maybe some new readers that weren't necessarily enthusiastic about it. Because, see, the thing is, is there's two new readers. There's a new reader that is enthusiastic and wants to get into comics, and then there's someone like uh, my fiancé that is reading the comics because she's reading them for me. So, we're going to get her perspective on there. I have some questions set. I'm going to ask her these questions, and uh, maybe I might throw you some curveball and ask you some questions I don't have now. <gasps> Curveballs! Topanga! That's a really old reference. If anyone knows that reference, post it in the comment of box. Of course they know that reference. No, some of my... A baby is watching this and knows that reference. No, some of my subscribers may not have been old enough for that. Anyways. What's I up? assure you, they will know. When did There's that end? There's reruns on. Yeah, when did the show end? It ended in the early 2000s. Mm, okay, well... You'll know it. It's on rerun. Post... Uh, that sounds sketchy. I was going to say post your age along with the answer, but don't, because that comes off as really sketchy. You'll uh, know it. Yeah, anyways. <laughs> Amy! Yeah. Uh, anyways, we're going to ask some questions. Mr. I got, Matthews. Okay, so, stop done. giving them hints. <laughs> They're supposed to work off one hint. So we, we're going to uh, start things off, and I'm going to ask her some questions, and she's either going to give long, in-depth answers or quick answers. I mean, this is coming from someone that reads comics because I kind of force her. But um, I think she genuinely enjoys reading them, kind of. Yes. We'll see. Okay, so we'll start things off by asking, what do you like about The Flash? The Enthusiasm. The enthusiasm. I mean, you said that I fell asleep during the Justice League, right? Mm hmm Most recently, and I don't think I've fallen asleep during the Flash. I mean, there's just an excitement about his character that holds your attention. Mm -hmm. Not to mention the dude is bright red. He 
uniform. Do you and like I guess there's a little bit of romance attached to the flash. Yeah, there's a little, there's a three way love triangle going on. Uh, the thing is, is she's right up to issue five for all of them. These are the issue six. She needs to read these. We won't read them tonight. Don't worry. Um, we'll read them sometime next week. But uh, there's a little love triangle going in a flash between Flash, Patty, and um, Iris West, kind of. Uh, okay. Do you like Flash as a character? Yes. As a person, and what what's uh, if you could say one trait about the Flash that you like? What is it? Devotion. Interesting choice of words. How so? <laughs> Because if I remember correctly, he's particularly devoted to one friend, Manuel. Manuel, yes. Uh, my uh, my rules. Recent stories that we've read. Yes, yeah, interesting answer. Okay, so uh, the same question, only for Supergirl. What do you like about Supergirl? The sentimentality of Supergirl, because I grew up watching the Christopher Reeve Superman movie. And alongside that, I watched some of the original Supergirl movies with my dad. So, the sentimental factor, and I don't know. The sister doesn't seem like a skank to me, and the others, <laughs> I just don't do well with the costuming. Um, it'll really... be a stereotype, but most males will like the costuming, and I just doesn't. I'm a pretty conservative gal. I have my moments where I may not be, but. Um, I, I don't know, she, I just admire her. And probably her connection to Superman. Who, interestingly enough, Superman's your favorite character, correct? See. So you're not reading Superman, you're reading Supergirl. Which is interesting, because if I was an outsider coming in, I would want to read my favorite character. She's choosing not to. I, I find that bold and endearing and a little confusing at the same time, but kind of cool. Well, I think you also might have, maybe not, but you might have eliminated Superman when you were giving me the choices of which stories to read with you. I think it's because when the first issues were out, I told you Superman's first issue was very wordy, and that might be intimidating to you. As a, read, as a reader, no, as a reader, it's comic books. Comics are different from books and other stuff. Wordiness in comic books can br uh, break up the pace of the panels and the arts. And the second thing is Superman's story arc in either Action Comics or Superman hasn't been that great. Action Comics has been a little bit better, but I mean, I don't think you would have liked them. Um, George Perez is doing Superman, and uh, Grant Morrison is doing Action Comics. And if you've read anything from Grant Morrison, I know, I know this girl like the back of my hand. They look a freckle. Uh, but uh, I know this girl like the back of my hand, and I know what writers she would like and what writers she wouldn't like. I know right now she would not like Grant Morrison at all, whether he's a good writer or not. Uh, think of Grant. I I'll think of an analogy. Think of Grant Morrison as the Angelina Jolie of comic books. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, that that was a horrible reference, but that's the best. Threw up in my mouth a little. She doesn't like Angelina Jolie. Okay. So as uh, for Supergirl's character, what do you like in particular about her character? I guess with all of that being added. Maybe a lot of the reason why I am such a fan is because of her affiliation to Superman. Do you feel as though you can kind of put yourself in her shoes and feel like you're you're part of the Superman family because you're like you're a female, she's a female, she's young. She's basically the. This is a stretch, but she's in a way the female Superman, in a way. Well, that's not a stretch. That, that, so, that's the truth. She's the female opposite of Superman. So, okay. Uh, can you relate to any of these characters, uh, Flash or Supergirl? Let's start with Flash. Can you relate to him at all? It might be a little bit harder because, you know, there's an age, gender, uh, a difference. But. Can you? Um, probably in the devotion factor where I talked about his devotion to his friend. Because I like to think of myself as devoted to certain individuals, so I can relate in that aspect. Okay, and what about Supergirl? Can you feel, uh, relate to her in any way? Yes, because I think there was a black sheep 
factor to her in the sense that oh, she right. lands on uh, planet Earth and without her own control, really, and she's without her family, with the exception of Superman, and without her home, and just has to is a stranger basically and kind of has to relearn everything because she's in a foreign world to her. It's a so, lot di more different for her because whereas Superman says that he's an outsider, at least he was a baby and was raised on Earth. She was 15 years old and then suddenly everything goes black and then her world is gone. So there's definitely an outsider perspective there. So I feel like the black sheep in my family on occasion, I mean I'm with my family, but I feel like I just don't always well, have a lot I, in common, and yeah, well, that's true. Kind of am on my own. Personality-wise, you're different than your sisters and parents, so um, it's not always a bad thing, but it's definitely something I've observed. So I can really turn that sense. Um. Okay, uh, do you find these comics that you're reading now inviting to a new reader such as yourself, someone that's never divulged into comics before, especially an older reader, uh, because maybe it might be easier for younger people, I'm not, I don't know, but for someone that has uh, had no interest in comic books or reading them beforehand, do you find these easy to get into, and I guess even more so, do you find uh, reading comics easy? Uh, in comparison to reading books or something, because they're totally, completely different mediums. Uh, it's like watching a movie and reading a comic, it's a different thing. Um, and before you answer that, I wanted to say, these are not the first comics she's read. I have had her read Killing Joke, Heart of Hush, Hush, and Watchmen before these. So, for these comics, do you find these uh, inviting to you as a new reader? I wouldn't willingly read comics. I'm reading them I mean, I'm enjoying reading them with you. And I do voices when I do them. It is fun. Don't I do voices? Yes. It's fun <laughs> to share in that interest with you. You, you have to hear my dark side of that, <laughs> and it's really bad. And he reads them to me. I really, I mean, I read along with him, but he, yeah. like, he it's said, because he I, does I, impressions. Yeah, you, know, you got to understand, this girl's a communication major. She will never get a spelling wrong or pronunciation wrong. I just do it because I get into the like. I always do a different voice for like Superman, or do a different voice for Batman. Sorry, my balls aren't big enough to do a Kevin Conroy voice. Or I do a different voice for everyone. The only ones that I have trouble doing are female voices. Oh, and remember Mr. Tycho from Supergirl? How I'd always do his voice like this as a rich petty man. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> that would piss her off so much. But okay, go ahead, continue. Well, so it's inviting because you make it enter. But it, where I am an outsider and comics aren't a strong interest of mine, I wouldn't pursue them if it weren't for your love for them. Do you find the stories compelling at all? I mean, do they hold your interest? Are you eager to see what happens with them? Like when you were reading The Flash, were you eager to see what went down with Flash and Manual? Or when you were reading uh, Supergirl, were you eager to see if she found out if any of her family was remaining, or if she would become an orphan child, just like Superman? I mean, I'm intrigued to a point. Sometimes they can feel long, even as short as they can be sometimes. They can feel long. I think it's just you have to be in a certain mindset to read or listen to a comic. If you're not a devoted comic reader, I have to be completely in the zone to be read one. So. Okay. Um, here's a, a, that question I kind of already asked, so I'm going to ask you a few random questions that you don't know. Uh, one, who, who's, uh, whose power do you find cooler? Supergirls or uh, Flash? Super Speed? Or the Swiss Army that has Super Speed, Super Strength, uh, Flight, and all the other stuff that you know, Kryptonians have. Be note that Flash is faster than Kryptonians. Can do I think 
I'd still rather have Supergirl's powers. I mean, this is cliche, but it would be awesome to be able to fly and without an airplane <laughs> and without like special equipment because there are people out there like that the, are flying. The flying squirrel suits or the hang gliders and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. There's also so, jetpacks too. I mean, it's for me, it's tough competition when it comes to superheroes that are able to fly. I that would be awesome. quite fun to just be able to take off at any time to anywhere. Okay. Uh, whose costume do you think looks better, Flash or Supergirl's? <laughs> oh, this is a more question. Flash. You like the because Scarlet? Because it goes, right? it goes with his personality. It's speed and his particularly energetic personality when he's in his costume. It just the red is vibrant, so it just works perfectly. Okay, you might need a reminder on this, but I will uh, do this. Uh, whose art do you think looks better? Okay, so here's the flashes, if you remember that. Can I remember that art? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then let's whip out Supergirls. Um, just so that you can have a reminder, because you know art can be forgetful sometimes, and you don't like her. Um, but let me get to an actual picture of Supergirl um, right here. How about that? Whose art do you think is better, Supergirls or the Flashes? Or which one do you prefer more? Hmm. Probably the Flashes art. I would have to agree. And not to say that Supergirl art isn't good. The Supergirl art is actually really good. The flashes just kind of pop a little bit more. There we go. Okay. Um, I had another uh, question or two. I'm trying to remember what they were. Uh, we're definitely going to make this video a little bit shorter than the other video we did. <laughs> um, but, um, oh, would you ever cosplay as Supergirl? Dress up in a costume? You've talked about this. You I would, would, depending on the costume. Do you think she would look good in this? Or do you think she should do the midriff? Right now, I want you to vote in the comments. Uh, one is, which Supergirl costume do you think she would look better in? And two, which superhero costume do you think she would pull off more? When I see her... And when pimping I, me out a little bit, I'm not me? pimping you out, but I'm trying to... Because, see, when I see her, I see Supergirl kind of has that blonde hair, uh, and she kind of has, you know, the, 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 the shape that Supergirl's face has, and, you know, she kind of has that little spunky youthfulness to her, even though Supergirl's actually, like, 15 years old and we're 24, but still, that a black canary. I know which one I would wear, what? but I'm going to keep that to myself Whisper for right it. now. Whisper No? Whisper it. Uh, I want. <laughs> I want to see what people say because for some reason I'm participating in pimping myself out right now. You're not pimping yourself out. See, I asked her for Comic Con this coming year. I asked her, "Honey, all I want for a gift because Comic Con is the 11th and my birthday is a bit afterwards." I said, "Honey, could you cosplay for Comic Con?" And she's done Robin before. We went to Salem before. And I dressed up as Jason Todd, and she dressed up as Tim Drake, as a, a female Tim Drake. It was basically the Robin top with a skirt. I'm sure you guys seen it around somewhere. You look smoking in that. Um, and never go, never go to Salem on Halloween. It was a bad idea, especially when you see people doing drugs in the street and having sex and all this random stuff. Yeah. I think the highlight of that night was all the Joker costumes we saw. Because that was the year that The Dark Knight came out. It was 2008? Right? I think it was. We went in and we met up with Kenny and uh, Katie, right? Mm -hmm. And they were dressed up. Katie Joker. was Ivy. And he was uh, Joker, wasn't he? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey, memories. You know what wasn't fun about that night? Getting home. I don't live that far away from Salem, and it took us until like 2 in the morning to get home. And we left around 9-ish. I fell asleep on her lap in the bus. It was not <laughs> a good idea, but I was tired. Um, but yeah, tell, let's see what um, what people say about which costume, which Supergirl costume do you think she would look good in, and what uh, superhero 
do you think she would uh, look best as? Um, I feel like we've asked this before. Not maybe. the super girl. But, no, but maybe. I, I, I forget. I think we were asking for a Halloween thing. Um, last and certainly not least, any final words you want to say on the comic stuff or anything that you want to convey to people on my channel or people that want to start reading comics or people that are reading comics and maybe want to get other people in or whatever. Any last final thoughts? I just hope I don't come across as ignorant in my lack of knowledge on comics. Andrew's having me guest star in these videos as an outsider to give an outside perspective and I am very much an outsider. All I know is what I've learned from reading with him basically so please as I often say bear with me and hopefully I haven't offended anybody. I don't think you can offend anyone at all. I just don't want to sound like a moron because many of Andrew's subscribers are very well versed in comics. I don't think I don't think that's the case. But uh, as I was saying, we also did a collaboration video on her channel. It's going to be on her Gossip Guru channel. You can just check it down there. We talked about who we thought the winners for the Oscars were, and we got into quite a bit of a debate on one of the subjects, which I thought was uh, quite fun and interesting. So you can check that out. It should be up now. We'll put we'll post these up at the same time. Uh, and if you want to see her in more videos, or if you want to see me in more of her videos, just let us know. I enjoy doing these. Do you enjoy doing We enjoy them? dual videos and individual videos. You know what we're good at? Ask us relationship advice. We're really good when it comes down to that. No, we are. If you have a problem, <laughs> do you need help? Are you confused? Come to us. Team Crandrew. We can solve your problem for you. So, with that said, I'm going to end this video here. This is Andrew. And Gossip Guru. Saying peace out for now.